my mom. I tell the story to a lot of people and I'll never forget it. Um, I wanted to go play football in high school. I wanted to go from middle school to high school, the local high school, Roswell High, with my buddies. She said, now you're going to the institute. You're going to the military institute because I want you to better your life. I want you to better your education. I want you to... I said, Mom, just give me a chance. Just give me a chance. She said, I'll give you one chance. You have, if you go, to, you go to high school with your, with your uh, friends, you have to have a 4.0 or higher or you're going to the institute. Said, okay. So I got a 4.3 and I never looked back. And the reason I tell that story is for me, football never defined who I was. I'm enjoying it. Play tennis, I play golf, do a lot. So, yeah, life is good. Like you said, there are some, some, some carryover skills that, sure. that work in both footwork, spacing, all that kind of stuff yeah. would help in both. And, and you were a pretty good tennis player too. Thank you. He, I, I paid him $5 to say that. <laughs> no, no, I, you know, I, I, I wasn't at first, but I learned um, just like anything, I wanted to be good at something. I'm not going to give up, sir. <laughs> oh. Yeah. One point. One winner takes off. Winner takes off. Here you go. I'm gonna fight, like Lobos, baby. Oh! <gasps> Coach! Good to see you, man. Impressive, good to see Thank you, too. That can's all right this time. <laughs> What's so special about being a New Mexico born player to come and represent the University of New Mexico for four years and that is one of my life's great honors is, is having the opportunity to represent my state as a Lobo and be a Lobo for life. More important than their talent was our, was our camaraderie, our respect and love for each other and that's what made us successful. I wear that, that crown very pridefully and, and respect the rich tradition that is Lobo football and the running back position. Out on the golf course, my home away from home, um, we talked about kind of keeping yourself busy outside of, outside of football or outside of work. It's always being played and I think that's the challenge along with tennis like what we were talking about is just a game that you can play forever and you never master it, ever. Because every lie is different and it, it echoes life. Just like football, golf echoes life. So just like I tell my friends, when I hit one good shot, I'm done. <laughs> then when the NFL was done, I wasn't nervous about anything. I was, you know, things will fall out just how they're supposed to. I'll end up going uh, and doing what I want to do, which is what I do now, which is I, I work with youth. I'm a program manager at the Bernalillo County Youth Services Center. It's youth who have made some bad decisions in their life. They have, you know, uh, they're incarcerated for whatever reason, and it is my job to, to help them figure some things out. We have people that come in and teach them about substance abuse or mental, you know, uh, aggression or anger issues. So those are the things that I do kind of on a daily basis, and I truly enjoy it. And so that's pretty much my life. You know, I like to travel see the world and then obviously doing the radio with the Lobos and that's a, another way for me to be connected and to, to show my passion through the radio and, and um, support Lobo football. So, you know, a lot of things have happened obviously since I left, but you know, life is good and I'm enjoying it. Uh, it's a great time, it's a great family and something I'm proud to, to, to say I'm a Lobo for life, not just a Lobo football player, but a Lobo ambassador for life.